Hi, my name is Jacqueline Rojas, and I began working with the Office of National Fellowships during the beginning of my junior year, and I'm still working with them and will continue to work with the office until they tell me I can't. Sorry, you guys. Um, and over the years, I've applied to a bunch of different fellowships and scholarships, and those include the Truman Scholarship, the Boren Scholarship, the Humanity in Action Fellowship, the Junior Fellows Program for the Carnegie Endowment of International Peace, the Rotary Peace Fellowship, and most recently, the Fulbright Research Grant. And in all of these application processes, I had a lot of different challenges, but perhaps one of the most challenging things that I have faced is just taking the initial step to apply for a scholarship or a program. So I remember looking at Truman and thinking, nope, I can't do this, or what is the point of even applying? And one of the ways that I've been able to overcome this challenge is to come to terms with the simple idea that if I don't try, then I would then I won't really ever know the outcome of it. So it's just a matter of telling myself that there's a great opportunity present and if it's something that matches with my dreams and goals then I should apply to it and not be so scared about the application process. And one of my most recent successes that I can attribute to my experience working with the Office of National Fellowships is becoming a Global Citizenship Fellow for the U.S. One for UNICEF. It is a fellowship that I pursued independently and one that I did not think I would receive due to its competitiveness. But when it came time to writing my cover letter, I was able to pull bits and pieces from different personal statements I had written for applications that I did with the Office of National Fellowships. I also made sure to apply all of the writing skills that I had learned over these application processes. So that would include not using split infinitives. Um, and even the interview process was reminiscent of meetings with ONF staff and being put on the spot to answering, to answering challenging questions. I also learned a lot from the ONF staff members themselves. So in terms of always being prepared for meetings and emphasizing relationship building, those are traits that I admire and actually use in my work today. And that made me a, made me look more professional and made me look better as a potential employee. So lastly, um, my tip to somebody working currently with the office is this. So Kanye West once tweeted, I want to steer clear of opportunities and focus on dreams. You can feel whatever way you want to about Kanye West, but it's not bad advice because we need to chase those goals of ours that really are our dreams. And opportunities are great, but to get the most out of our experiences or even writing up an application, uh, I find that those plans you dream about are much more exciting to pursue and are ultimately the most rewarding um, to pursue. So yeah, that's my advice is listen to this one tweet from Kanye West. <laughs>